Welcome to this new video, KPI using date add function. Date add function returns a table that contains a column of dates. You can shift, you can shift the dates either forward or backward in time by the specified number of intervals from the dates in the current context. So as definition, date add returns a table that contains a column of dates shifted either forward or backward with the number of intervals. And we can use the date add function for KPIs. So the intention of KPI is to help you evaluate the current value and the status of the metric against a defined target value. So usually a KPI visual requires a base, base measure that evaluates to a value, a target measure, and a goal. While doing a date add function, if we can get the total or total revenue or the profit of the previous month, and you can use it to get the KPIs, and you can use that uh, previous month as target value, and you can use the current month as the current value. You can evaluate both the target and the current whether you have achieved at least previous month's revenue. In this visual, we can see that okay, the, the target was 80 and we haven't achieved it. We got only 70. So like that way, you can use the KPI and you can use the visuals to display the KPIs by using this data. So we have a data set which is having five tables. We have a calendar table also that has been uh, related to sales details tables. And now we have unit cost, unit price, and the quantity. You need to get the total cost and the total unit price. Then we can find out the profit of it. So everything together, we are going to write in a new measure. So you are going to get the profit. First, you will get the total revenue that is variable. Revenue equals to sum of sum x of which uh, table it is. It is uh, sales details, and you can multiply quantity into unit price. So, like this, we are going to get the, the revenue table in a variable. And now we'll get the cost production cost goes the same way sum x sales table, and then we will get the quantity quantity into unit cost. So now we are getting the production cost. We'll return the function and we will get the profit equals to this revenue minus this production. So revenue minus production. So like that, we are going to get the profit. Now we will select a table from visualization and we will give the date for it. And we'll just take a year and month. We can take the profit. So this profit measure, it has been filtered and it has shown with respect to the months. Now we can create profit of the previous month so that we can compare the previous month with the current month. So for calculating the previous month, we need to use data function and you need to give the interval as minus one for the previous month. So we will do the new measure and previous month profit. We can use calculate function and you can get the profit as expression. And this profit. And we are going to use data. And we are going to get the date, calendar date. And we will use minus one for the previous month and month as the interval. So we'll check whether it is working. So in this table, we are going to select the previous month measure. We will see how it is. And we can find out, okay, according to the February, February profit is this value 49. And the previous month, that is January's profit starts with 55. Same is the January's profit. And compare like this. So the March profit starts with 54. The February profit starts with 40. So when you compare this like this, you can understand that the March profit is higher than the February profit. But when we go to April, April profit is lesser than March profit. So this, you can give it that has the target value and this and give it a certain value and use the capability 
be a function comparing it more easily and more visually. So we can select a slicer with the month and we will select the date. We don't want this. We will get the list of it and we need the date in the hierarchy and that also we need only year and month. So if you select here, you can get all the months. Now we'll take the gauge and here we will try to show which is the target and which is the current value. We can use the target value as previous month's value. At least the current profit should be greater than the previous month's profit. And we are going to get the value as profit. So this is, let's come back to the entire profit. We are going to select June's profit, 2019 June's profit. So you can see the target amount was 4.99, but we achieved only 4.76. So like this way, you can use the data at function to get the KPI of previous month and current month. Same way you can use KPI chart also. You can use KPI and you can select the target as the previous and you can select the indicator as the current one profit and you can select the trend axis as date. Now, so now it is showing exactly when you use the KPI visual, it will show in a more advanced and perfect way. It, we can see the goal was 4.99, but we achieved only 4.76. So it was minus 4%. So at the time, same time, if you take March, so March, it was totally higher because March, February, the total was 4.92. So the March goal was 4.92, but March came to 5.52. So. so like this data, date add function can be used to create the KPI to get the previous month's profit or previous month's revenue and compare with the current month's profit or current month's revenue. So when you're, if you're ambitious, you can use the target value as previous month's profit into 1.05 or something. And you can get the target more than the previous month's target. So like this, my data function can be used to get the KPIs. If you have any doubts regarding this, you can comment it. Have a nice day. Thank you.